Hello everyone, you read the title of the video, so let's get going. Tip number one. Switch charger has iframes. You can dodge a lot of attacks with it and raws for example. The game literally doesn't tell you, so you pretty much have to find out by accident or watch a useful YouTube video like this one. Tip number two. By positioning with switch charger, chaining into sword mode, double sideways slash and going for the compressed finishing discharge, you don't drain a single drop in your switch gauge and you can continue without having to reload after the discharge. You can also go for a ZSD, but it won't be completely for free except if you detonate early. Tip number 3. You can use Soaring Vivon Blade right after ZSD. You can even delay it and wait for the perfect angle to re-engage. Tip number 4. Use your morph slashes after dodge rolls to gain extra distance. Either evade attacks with it or re-engage with the monster with them. Tip number 5. The easiest and quite good wake up hit for switch eggs is the forward heavy slam, which is a switch skill. There are better options, but this one is the easiest and available early in the game. Tip number 6. You can use Soaring Wyvern Blade to cosplay Valstrax and save a bit of time on your travels. Take some practice, but it's super satisfying to basically snipe a monster with this move. Tip number 7. Engage in sword mode, evade in X mode. Your movement is far better in X mode, but your big DPS come through sword mode. So you have to balance these two accordingly for the highest performance. I see a lot of beginners criticizing the sword mode movement and yeah, it's bad. And that's why you should switch to X mode whenever you disengage. Tip number 8. Elemental files over power files. I have an entire video dedicated to the file system of the Switch X and you should definitely check it out. But in general, elemental files will perform better and are easier to get to amp state than power files. But with power files I created some of the most powerful Switch X builds in my personal loadouts and every monster is weak to raw power. Tip number 9. Exhaust files are the most fun files to use. That's just objectively true. If you haven't tried them, do it. Monsters are exhausted more often, flinch more often, so you have more and better openings to deal damage. This can also increase your survivability since an exhausted monster is pretty slow and less lethal than an enraged one. But note this doesn't really work on Elder Dragons because they can't be exhausted. They are just too powerful. Tip number 10. Try out different playstyles. Grounded, x focus playstyle, zsd focus playstyle, aerial playstyle, evasive playstyle. Experiment with different styles and find the one that is the most fun to you. Don't focus too hard on the meta, don't copy a speedrunner build and get frustrated if it doesn't work for you. Make your own builds and experiment, that's the most important note here and as long as you're having fun, you're playing the game right, so don't worry. Thank you very much for watching and happy hunting guys.